All right, this is uh, face to face and we're going to do a video presentation. Uh, this is week, um, not week one, but day one of our uh, July fast 2022. And so I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to present some nuggets, some aspects, if you will, of fasting and how we can benefit from fasting and the power of fasting and why it's so necessary. I'm going to do it in a video uh, presentation uh, through a tool demonstration or a fix it demonstration. So I have an issue with uh, one of my sinks in my house and there's an alignment problem. And as a result of that alignment problem, the functionality of uh, the faucet is not working properly. And so I want to use the, the faucet and I want to maximize the potential and the benefit of the faucet for what it was designed to do. Uh, and so I'm going to show you now how we figure out um, how to get this out of the faucet, but we're going to pair it with um, the um, benefits of fasting. All right, um, stay tuned. So let's just say the way up is down and the way down is up. The first thing that we need to do is turn off the supply. The supply here would, would denote the anointing. So what is happening right here, the anointing is not able to flow properly or the water is not able to flow properly because there is an alignment issue. So here I'm going to show you looking at the faucet here. The alignment issue is that both of the handles should be uh, aligned. One is going back towards the mirror and the other one is going perfectly horizontal uh, or parallel with the plane of the uh, backsplash. And so that's the way that the other one should be uh, uh, facing or the direction of the other one. But there is an issue. So the first thing we do is we take off the uh, top cap. This just so happens to be on the hot side of the uh, of the faucet. And so we're going to remove the um, the uh, the hot side indicator. And then after that, we have to figure out a way to get this handle up because we've got to determine why is it that this handle now has has moved its way back towards uh, the backsplash when uh, it was never designed to function like that. It never, it was not purchased like that. And so now uh, there's an issue. And so as you see me disappear in the uh, video, there is a, um, I think what I'm trying to do at this point is turn off the um, source of the water supply which would, in our case, there's a lot of things that we're trying to do and God is turning off the source or the supply and it's not, we're, we want things to function right, but they're not functioning right. And so we're finding ourselves having that supply turned off. Now we gotta, we gotta fix the problem in order for the supply to be turned back on. So uh, as I go through moving these handles back and forth, what I'm trying to figure out, and in life, a lot of us, what we try to figure out is what's the problem. And so we are in um, this day one going into day two of the fast. And a lot of us, we're fasting. We're trying to make some corrections. That's what fasting is designed for, to make corrections. And so what I want to do is bring this faucet, these faucet handles back into alignment. But there's a process in order for for that to take place. And so I'm simply demonstrating in here that uh, there's an issue with the hot side, the one that I keep taking my hands and I'm playing with right there. And so um, the, this right here is the um, top nut and I've got to take that off. It's a, it's actually a finish nut and it's um, the function of it is it's a critical function because once you unscrew that the whole handle comes off and uh, but I've got to get that off in order to go deeper inside the problem and sometimes uh, in life we've got to take certain things off in order to go down and find the root cause 
And so in at this particular juncture of me trying to figure out and make the repairs, um, I'm looking now at the, um, um, that is the packing nut. I believe that's the packing nut that I'm getting ready to go after. Or no, that right there is the stem screw that I have to, uh, I have to unscrew. And right there, you see me because I have a uh, interchangeable that can go from a flathead screwdriver to a Phillips head screwdriver. And it was just too hard for me to pull out because my hands, I, I, I needed some gloves on. So anyway, I'm taking the screw out because now I, uh, I want to pull this piece out because I'm trying, I'm getting down to the cartridge valve or to the cartridge. Okay. But in order for me to get down there, there is a, um, there's a packing nut. And that's what that piece is right there, that it goes on top <clears throat> and it holds uh, in place where I can put the chrome um, metal piece or the chrome handle. I can put that back on there in order for me to turn it on and off. And then there's a stop on your off and there's a stop on your own on, but it goes, uh, I think, uh, what do I want to say? It's like a quarter turn for each side. There's a quarter turn swing for each side. Now, here's the issue. The issue is, is that I've got to be able to get to that cartridge. And a lot of us, we want to get to certain things, but we're not using the proper tools. And so we're talking about fasting um, this week and today. And what I want to point out to you is that the manufacturer has designed a special tool. And without this tool, this tool is a bridge to get me uh, the result that I'm trying to get to. Other than that, I would never be able to go down into this faucet and pull out the uh, packing nut without this tool. Now, I have a whole lot of tools. And as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of tools there on the counter or on my workspace, but I have a whole lot of tools. But none of those tools that I have would have been able to accomplish the task. And what am I saying? I'm saying there's a lot of things that we're doing and we want to get the benefits, but God has called one uh, specific tool and is a tool of fasting in order for us to get certain things done in our lives. And that tool only comes from the manufacturer and it's specially designed. And sometimes we get down into areas and we want to use this other tool and we use that, this approach, that approach. And it just doesn't work. And so we're finding our lives being upset. We're finding uh, areas uh, in our society being all messed up. The churches become somewhat dysfunctional and all that. And it is a result of us trying to use a tool that was not designed for the application. So it is not appropriate for the application. And so in this, I'm just trying to show you something by using the proper tool because I, because ultimately what we're going to do, we want change. We want to see difference. We want to see things fixed and right. And so this particular tool that's standing up, it is the bridge between our spirit and our flesh to get the results that we need. But if we're trying to use all these other types of tools, we will not yield that benefit from it. And so now I'm using another uh, tool. Now, this is not a critical tool, but it's necessary in order for me to pull the cartridge valve out. And so that's all you see me doing right there is I'm pulling the cartridge valve out. I'm just moving a little bit of water around. And so I'm going to take this cartridge valve because in life, once we're doing a deep dive inventory of ourselves, we have to look at things to make sure that they're in shape. And sometimes fasting causes us to do a deep dive session. So I got two washers on there. Those washers are what it prevents the, uh, the the faucet from leaking and so i'm doing an inspection of those doing an inventory just to make sure that those uh um um uh, not gas because those o-rings that's on there that's on that cartridge the o-rings do not have any nicks and blemishes and cuts and all that stuff in it and so based upon my uh my visual view of it it seems to be okay which means that i don't need to replace the cartridge valve but i need to find out what is the reason for the misalignment 
because the misalignment now is causing the uh, faucet as a whole not to work properly. And so right there, I'm just trying to show you that it's okay. The cartridge valve, I didn't find any defects in it. And so what I'm going to do now is uh, reinsert that, but I need to check that the, that the insertion now is properly because somewhere something has gotten out of alignment and has become skewed. And in life, uh, sometimes we can, you know, we're designed to work one way and our functionality is to be just so, but then we find ourselves misaligned. We find ourselves out of place, out of sorts. And so we have to figure out now what is wrong, what is the problem. So we have to start to undo certain things or take an inventory of certain things in our lives to, to figure it out. And in this particular case, we've already we're dealing with fasting uh, this week. And so uh, we want to get to the root. But with but in order for us to get to the root where I'm what I'm dealing with right now, I needed that particular tool. So we're going to call that tool the fasting tool. And without that, I would never be able to make the repairs for the alignment that's necessary for this for this particular fix and this application on this faucet. And so now all I'm doing here is I figured out that there's nothing wrong with the cartridge. I, I placed the cartridge back in and I seeded the cartridge, but now I have to um, put down the, the um, I have to screw the seat. There's another uh, packing nut that screws the seat down. And so all I'm doing now is I'm just trying to hand uh, fit it so that the threads will go on straight. And then once the threads are on there straight, then I take my um, fasting tools, what we're going to call it because for this particular presentation. It's my fasting tool and I'm going to screw that packing nut all the way back down to the cartridge valve. And I'm going to tighten it up just to make sure that it's seated because somewhere in there, something came unseated. Now, that could have been through wear and tear. That could have been through water. Uh, there are a number of reasons what, what could have caused that to unseat itself. But so now we're getting to the uh, root cause of it and we're repositioning that we're tightening everything back up because we want to make sure that it functions properly in the end. And so now all I'm going to do is uh, work forward. I worked backwards by taking everything apart. And now uh, by memory, I know where everything goes. And so now I have to put everything back in its proper place. And so as you can see right there, as I move this handle back and forth, that um, what what this handle has on it or what that piece that I just put on it, it has gears. And so with that, um, you have to align the handle up with the gears to give you that quarter turn swing so you can go on in one direction and off in the other direction. But sometimes what you have to do is you have to take the handle and you have to pull it up and, and put it back down and you have to move it over a teeth, a tooth or two. OK, and so you move it over until you get it perfectly parallel in one direction and perpendicular in the other direction. So it can give you that quarter turn swing. And what I'm doing right now is all I'm doing is is I'm putting um, that that gear, that tooth gear back in the place. And that goes on top of the um, that goes on top of the uh, packing nut that I already put in there using our um, our tool, the our um, uh, fasting tool. OK, it's not a fasting tool, but for uh, teaching purposes today, that's what we're going to call it, our fasting tool. So now I'm just taking the, the uh, screw that was in there uh, for the gear cartridge. And I'm just screwing that back down and making sure that that has a, a firm uh, seating to it, that it, it uh, it's it's in place the way it's supposed to. And so once that gets into place, then I can take the handle, as you see, and I'm just going to uh, align it. I'm going to align it. 
and there's one part in this video where um, the alignment I take it towards the back see so that's in proper alignment and that's another thing that we that we do is that we want it to go the direction that we want it to go or we don't pay attention that's what happens when God talks to us that's what happens when we read our word and sometimes we do that inappropriately or it's it it's not functional the way that the manufacturer wants it to function or the way that God wants it to function. And so once we discover that, we understand that when we look on the other side at the coal valve or the coal side handle, the when you want to turn it on, the handle goes all the way to the front. And when you want to turn it off, it goes to the side where it goes. See, as I'm moving my hand back and forth, and so now it's they should be lined up uh, in sync with one another. All right. So as you look at that, when I when I OK, so, yeah, it looks good right there. But in order for me to turn it on, if I turn my hot on, it has to go back towards the uh, backsplash. So now I'm realigning that and I'm saying, OK, now I have to take that off and this is proper. So now in order for me to turn it on, it, it faces towards me. You know, we pull the handle towards us. The water comes on. You push it where it runs towards the backsplash or it's running parallel towards the backsplash. The water goes off. So that becomes your quarter turn to turn it off and to turn it on. As you can see there, I'm waving my hand and it's going all the way across. Both valves line up with one another or both handles line up with one another and so hence is the proper way for the installation okay and so then after that <clears throat> as we look at that and we see that that's on that's i mean that's off and that's off okay so i haven't turned the water back on yet to inspect it to make sure but what i have to do there's another critical piece to it because our finish nut that goes on the top that's the chrome piece that i'm screwing that ha plays a significant role. And if that is not tight enough, what will happen sometimes is that the cartridge over time of turning the uh, water on and off, on and off, it will unseat itself and then it will cause the handle, the handle that I'm using to come out of alignment, to come out of alignment. And, and a lot of times when we look at our lives, um, there is something very subtle something that doesn't make any sense and we look around and we say well what is this it may be something going on in your, in your relationships it may be go something going on in your uh with your children and your family it may be on your job it may be in your finances it may be in your health whatever it is is something that seems when we look at it it does not look like that may that's the problem but in all actuality it is the problem but you have to discover what it is and so I have discovered in this right here that that was the culprit of the reason why my handle came out of alignment. But I wouldn't have known that without using my my trust, my uh, my fasting tool, my fasting tool to be able to go inside of the faucet to discover, to to look at it in more detail of what the issue is, because I want to maximize the functionality of of my faucet and I want it to work for me the way that the manufacturer says it's supposed to work. And so now um, I, I'm putting the um, the um, identification button back on there that tells differentiates from hot and cold. And I think that did I tighten that already? Uh, and when I come back, I have to I'm going to tighten it now because or I've already tightened it. Um, to just position it, but I know that I'm gonna have to get like a pair of rubber gloves or something like that and tighten it even more to make sure that I don't have this problem uh, going forward in the future. And so I think what I'm doing now is I'm going back underneath the sink and um, I'm getting ready to turn the water back on because the water now or underneath the sink, the sink represents the power. Because ultimately what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that the power flows, the anointing flows. And in order for that to happen, okay, I got to make sure that everything is aligned on top. But like I said, I preface this by saying, you know, the way up is down and the way down is up. 
it, it, Paul said that if you want to be uh, exalted, you be abased. If you want to be abased, then you exalt yourself. <clears throat> so I'm underneath the sink now and I'm turning the power back on or I'm turning the anointing back on. And that's what God does. He says, once you fix the problem, I will turn, I will release the anointing. But in order for that to happen, you have to have the fasting tool. And a lot of us, God has turned off the anointing because you don't have the proper tool to fix the problem uh, in your life. So I needed that tool to fix the problem at, at the faucet. And so now you can see that I've got one side. I turn it on. I move the handle towards the front. It turns on on both sides because now the anointing is back flowing and it's back flowing properly. And so now whatever I need to do when I need to wash up clean up or whatever I need to use that for. There is the power. There is um, there's everything in that in that uh, faucet. It's going to function according to the manufacturer's specs. And what God is saying, even in this presentation, is that uh, once you realign yourselves and in order to do that, you, you got to use a certain tool. And in this case, the tool is fasting. It's fasting and we're going to be talking more this week about the benefits of fasting and what all those things can do for you and how you can capitalize on fasting. And so I just wanted to use a um, a visual, a video demonstration to show you because that's part of what I do. That's my work. Uh, I'm a plumber. I'm an electrician and all that. Yeah, I'm giving myself a hand saying that everything is fixed. The handles are back in alignment and this is ready to go back into service and to work according to uh, the manufacturer's specs. And so that's what we do. And that's what God wants to do for us. He wants us to take time out every now and then to service our lives, to make sure that if we got something out of alignment that we use. And the reason why that's turned a little bit skewed is because I didn't completely tighten up that chrome not the way it's supposed to. Now, what I'm supposed, what I'm doing right here is I'm showing you other areas because this is an issue that we have. I'm in my, I'm in my garage now and I'm just kind of looking through all these different tools and I'm doing this for a reason because what we do a lot of times is we want to use all the wrong tools to address areas in our lives. And so I'm just going through and I'm saying, okay, well, let's open up because I got a whole lot of tools. But as you look at all these tools that I have, and this so I hope it'll steady itself here in a minute, but that those are tools that I use every day. But with all those tools and all the money that I've invested in this, that, and the other, none of those tools could have fixed the problem for my faucet to my sink. None of them. And so I open up the toolbox right there and my toolbox is full of tools. My tool belt right here is full of tools. I got all kind of stuff for different applications. So what am I saying? I'm saying that you have to use the tool that's appropriate for the result that you're trying to get. Even from here, I said I go back and I'm, I'm even going into another part of my truck and I'm saying, well, let's look at this. Maybe I could have used these other tools. And so I'm just taking the time out just to show you, and I know it might be a little bit overkill, but uh, I've got all types of, uh, of equipment and tools and stuff that I use for this, that, and the other. But in this particular application, and even in your life, there's a special tool. And a lot of times, well, it may be costly. We may have to get that directly from the manufacturer. We may not be able to go to the store and get that. We may not be able to go... Uh, and have somebody pray for us or, you know, whatever uh, these other types of modes that you might want to operate in. And that was, I was just showing you underneath there, the lid. Uh, and there was tools and stuff all underneath there. None of those tools, though, that I could use, none of them. And so I'm only pointing that out because. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, remember that fasting is uh, it's a specific and very special tool that is designed from God to help us get out of uh, certain situations, predicaments, and help us achieve those things uh, in the spirit 
and in life that we want to achieve. According to the word, Jesus said, these kind come only by fasting and praying. And there's a myriad of other applications that uh, fasting is used in. And so I hope you enjoyed this um, this uh, video presentation and that uh, you got something out of it and that it helps you on your journey in fasting. We will continue. It, the next ones, the rest of the week won't be as long as this right here. But I'll come back with some scripture and a few little nuggets uh, that will help us better understand fasting and its significance, its functionality and its benefits in our lives. OK, until next time, be blessed.